hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and for this video i will be demonstrating how to animate in synfig studio using the skeleton deformation tool okay so to start with we uh, let's set up our canvas to our desired dimension so to do that we will be um, uh, we'll click on the canvas properties okay and so in the image uh, image size so I think this is okay 1920 and uh, 1080p next there is the frames per second okay so let's click on the time and that I think that is good 12 12 uh, FPS and uh, I think that's uh, let's click on apply and then okay so we're good to go next is to import our character drawing and, uh, and it is important you save your character in that PNG format so that you will have the transparent background so we click on the character and then we click import okay so there you have it there's your character so the next is we will be adding skeleton deformation tool so to do that uh, okay so let's right click on the character in the layers panel so right click okay so right click and then we select the new layer um, distortions and then skeleton deformation tool okay so let's click that okay and then uh, as you can see the your character is hidden so let's uncheck the box for the skeleton deformation tool we will activate it okay so we click on this node and then the other node to cover our character okay so let's, let's zoom in a little bit and then okay so we click this node here and so we will uh, position it where the first skeleton of our character will be going to okay so let's click on that um, create child bone this is your next uh, skeleton that will be assigned for the for the head of your character let's uh, make another uh, bone okay so we right click on the primary bone okay great child bone that goes for the right arm of our character okay so from the right shoulder to the elbow and then we create another child bone from elbow to hand okay so that's for the right arm let's make um, another bones for our left arm okay so create child bone basically we will just be doing what we are uh, just doing like what we did from the other arm so great child bone okay so position it and then we create a bone for our pelvis okay and then another bone for that goes for the leg okay position that uh, another bone okay and for the left leg another bone okay and then lastly for this part of the body okay okay so next is we will be adjusting the level of influence the bone will 
cover for each body part of your character so to do that you toggle the these handles that shows uh, this a purple node and then we cover the area which this part of the bone um, will be having influence okay so let's adjust it on this for the head and then we'll do another one for the arm okay okay just do just continue doing so so for the other arm okay just adjusting all the nodes Make sure that all nodes are adjusted properly. Okay, so that's, that's go. That's good. That one goes for the neck. This one goes for the uh, lower body portion. So it's for the right leg. That one. This one goes for the feet, the other one, or you can just turn off the other nodes uh, to visualize clearly the purple nodes. Okay, so I still have here this another one, and then okay, we need the primary bone I will be covering all of our character okay so that's that's it okay so next is to right click on your skeleton information layer and click reset post okay so reset post and then we'll activate the layer Double check and there you have it there you have it your uh, character you can play with your character and how it moves okay, so let's try that's for the head okay that's good a little bit wobbly but that's good enough let's try the other hand the hand okay So there you have it. You can play with your character, um, animate all you want, and that's it. Thank you for watching my video and happy animating. Thank you.